this is a single player game. It's kind of interesting that they have a, a profanity or an anti corporate slang jargon thing here. I guess sits with the with the theme. <laughs> They're all grunts of pain. Uh, does it matter on the meal preference? <laughs> Food costs may vary over time. All right. I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. I'm not a member of and never have been associated with a workers' union. I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having McCullough's lung. I have no commercial or real estate interest in Luna or in Luna or in the asteroid belt or in the nation state of Arizona. Morning, Uzi. I will bring a positive attitude and problem solving mindset to work every day. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to a Vander Walls field. I will vote for Chancellor Chun Zong in the Pan American Senate election. You can imagine if like working at a place like, no, this is who you're going to vote for. There's no chance it's happening with you. <laughs> Sure. Do I need to, I probably should skip the training. You're bringing Tom Fuller into the workplace. I will end up inside of the incinerator, I'm sure. There is a permadeath mode on this game. I can't play it yet, but there is one which gives me to believe that I'm going to die a lot. <laughs> Suspect? What do you mean, Uzi? Like, if you die, you just lose everything? More than a holly? I love the theme of this game. This entire introduction is amazing. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, New Game Plus. Yeah, I read about that. Oh, that sucks. They take everything from you? You just keep the stats? Not gonna lie, this would be a pretty cool job. <laughs> then what's the point of New Game Plus? You just restart the game? Hello, Cutter 9346-52. Your automated Lynx onboarding experience will now begin. Please observe this important message. Mm, okay. Faith. Boundless promise. Still unfortunate. Limitless resources. A brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation's Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The Railgates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity. This gives a very big Hearst Hurston vibes. Most successful like Lorville. <laughs> pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge
forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard. Feed your superiors. Believe Feed your superiors. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program. The greatest gift we give our employees. Heed? I thought it said feed. Opportunity for learning and growth. Turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. Death is a fresh start. <laughs> uh, it's too early for me. Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry. Pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. <laughs> largely tolerable. Please note, as outlined in section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. You know, I don't think I'd do this. I take back what I said. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> Pansy. You hear a saw running, they're like, yeah, you're gonna die. Clearly. Congratulations, it's now safe to die. Shipbreakers are responsible for the cost of biomaterials used in the Everwork process. An additional fee is required for deaths that occur outside of working hours. Coming up season nine. You may now proceed with salvage training. Good luck. Loading fees report. How much money am I in the hole? Hmm. Seems like it was a good investment. <laughs> For the low, low cost of... One billion... Still going. One billion, two hundred fifty-two million, five hundred ninety-four thousand, four hundred forty-one dollars and ninety-two cents. You can be your be a cutter. <laughs> what are these? De-gauzing, de-lousing, habitation fee... Waste management? Premium. I get the premium edition. <laughs> Salvage rights fee, including notary, no, notar notary. Jesus Christ. Notorious notary. <laughs> Do me a favor and look up at that cargo. Notorious notary notoriety. Notorious notary nor ah, fuck. <laughs> what am I supposed to look at? That's it. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Just in case you ever turn yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. Alright. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls. Nothing like indentured servitude. Try moving around. Now vertical control. Oh, how do I go down? C, okay. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Now, to finalize these movement checks, I need you to fly to these waypoints. Cutter myself, you know. Till there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot. 
out the most important thing. Brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? Oh, control. All right. Hmm. Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're going to clean this crap up. I'm going to activate the furnaces. Now. Dang, dang. Would you just... Mm. I'd probably just stay away from that. There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Okay. Let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object to move it around. If oh God. it's not too heavy. Give it a go. And move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, it'll pull you towards it. All right. I don't know if I did that right. Come on, get in there, bounce in. This would be really cool as a game loop in Star Citizen. Like, actually go into, like, a salvage yard like this. Okay, focused when... Okay, don't drift into the furnace. Use the grapple reel. Oh no, come on. Oh, what well, do you have to do? The right click, okay. Nice job cleaning up there we go. Soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move with scrapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. Controls give me the go-ahead to get you cutting. You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. Try pulling the Rex at full speed towards you. All right, give me a minute. <laughs> a cutter. The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. It's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-G surgery cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. That's how you do it. Okay. Let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor. Look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate right. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right. We're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. I don't think I can actually pull it towards me. I can... Wait, so it still sends me to it. it sends me th these are too big. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. Do I go in the hole with it? Come with me. This is really hard. Come on, get in there, get in there. Well, okay. We're almost 
Oh. oh, stop, stop, stop. Go after that large aluminum chunk over there. What large aluminum chunk? This one? Now, this base is way too heavy oh, this one. As is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. And there are no structural cut points for us to take advantage of. We're going to have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Now try changing the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator. Oh, that is cool. To track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. That is so cool. Now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. More salvage goals you complete. Closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Deposit accepted. I should get any closer to this or not. Why am I getting? No, go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop getting pulled in. No. Hold on. Get out of there. Jesus. I think I'll straight up pull you in. You're overcompensating again. <laughs> I couldn't come out of it. I had to like grab the side. I probably should stop. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna die. Look at that. This is a good day, man. Half a million dollars. Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, we're still a billion in debt, but. License upgraded. Basic certification. She was looking at those claymores. Those things look dangerous. Something in my office is gonna get broken. <laughs> <laughs> you can pack them with BBs and they have a remote detonator so she could just put one in a drawer or something and set it off. I'm going to get shot. <laughs> it's going to be your guys' fault. Oh, I have to press space. 